Let's continue exploring motion. Moving on to the next important concepts of kinematics. This is about acceleration and uniformly accelerated motion. Imagine yourself driving your bicycle along the road when suddenly a man crosses the road. What would you do? Definitely you step on the brake. What happens to the bicycle as you step on the brake? When an object changes its velocity the object is said to accelerate. Acceleration is a measure of how fast the velocity changes with respect to time. This means that a body accelerates whenever there is a change in speed, a change in direction, or a change in both the speed and direction. Acceleration is expressed in units such as meter per second squared, kilometer per hour squared, meter per minute squared, and many others. Blood flow also exhibits acceleration. When the heart pumps, the blood is pushed away from the heart. The sudden surge or push to the blood makes the flow of the blood change in speed or direction. Acceleration is expressed by the formula. Where, delta V is the change in speed or velocity. V sub I, is the initial velocity. V sub F, is the final velocity. D, is the distance covered. And T, is the time of travel. Take a look at the parachuters. Are they falling? Are they moving horizontally? Motion comes in two forms, linear motion, and curvilinear motion. Linear motion refers to the movement of an object, along a straight path. Examples of these, are vehicles and other objects with a constant acceleration, and, free fall. Curvilinear motion is the motion of bodies along curved paths. Projectiles and objects moving along curved paths are some examples. If a vehicle maintains a constant or a uniform change in its velocity, in a given time interval along a straight line, then the vehicle is said to have a constant acceleration. Its motion is known as uniformly accelerated motion. This constant acceleration could be derived using the equation. Solving for the final velocity, we have the first kinematic equation. If we substitute the value for velocity, given by equation A, for velocity in the equation, distance, equals velocity times time, we obtain, the second kinematic equation. We replace T equals V sub F minus V sub I, divided by, acceleration, by its value from equation 2. Solving for V sub F squared, we get, the third kinematic equation. Replacing V sub F, by its value obtained, from equation 2.1, to the equation. Finally, we get, the fourth kinematic equation. We now have equations, that apply to uniformly accelerated motion. They are sufficient to describe motion, in any ordinary situation, in which acceleration is uniform. They are likewise known as the four kinematic equations. And now here is table 2.1, the four kinematic equations. Here's table 2.2, that will serve as a brief guide, to help you translate problems involving motion. Let us solve problems starting from, example 1. A car moves with a speed, of 25 meter per second, it slows down and comes to rest, 5.5 seconds later. Find how far did the car move, within the 5.5 time interval. Example 2. A plane starting at rest at one end of a runway, undergoes a constant acceleration, 
of 4.8 meter per second squared, for 15 seconds before takeoff. A. How fast is the plane at takeoff? B. How long must the runway be for the plane to be able to take off? Example 3. A mother pushes a stroller from rest until it accelerates at the rate of 0.500 meter per second squared. How fast is the stroller moving after traveling 5.25 meters? Again be reminded that learning is by doing. Perform the concept understanding and self-activity. To further enhance understanding of the concepts, try to figure out the best answer to each of the questions. For the self-activity, solve the problems below. Based on what you have perceived from this activity, how important are the four kinematic equations in solving problems involving uniformly accelerated motion? Thank you and learn in constant motion. Move forward to a positive direction.